We're in today with the GTX 570. This is a 2010 video card. It's got some really nice specs considering the previous video cards we tested. It's got 480 shaders, 1.2 gig of VRAM, GDDR5 at 320 bits bus width with DirectX 11, running at 800 megahertz on the core clock and 1000 megahertz on the memory clock. We're gonna pair it up with this i9 10 gen. We're gonna see how this video card is running in a couple of games. Okay, let's start with Fortnite and see how the game is running on 1080p with uh, performance mode and 100% uh, render scale. Okay, I'm in the air. Ooh, look at this performance. So first things first, uh, I want to point out that this is uh, the model from this video card is from point of view and it's got a big radiator. It's got a big fence on, on, on that core. And uh, I didn't adjust nothing on the on the fan, and it's on 60%, and uh, it's running 71. I wanted to see if uh, that uh, radiator is doing the job. On 60%, I think uh, I have to increase the RPM on this fan and uh, try to make it cool. But it's, if, if it's staying on 72 degrees, it's okay. Fermi video cards are not known to be cool. <laughs> so how is it doing? 150 FPS on average with this uh, GTX uh, 570. This is an awesome video card considering uh, uh, you know the the average that the video card is generating running on 150 fps on average with 70 minimals and 71 on one percent it feels very volatile you know it's not uh, it's not very ideal the system ram apparently it's 11 gig of uh, system ram not that bad quite uh, a good uh, performance from the computer itself and uh, the cpu is not very loaded i uh, barely see any 30 percent load on the core you know 63 degrees i think it's time to clean my cpu cooler come on 60 degrees and it's only 30 percent loaded yeah something's wrong here with that cooler and I see it from a mile that is dirty and I need to take it apart. The overall performance is kind of good, you know. I'm talking about a video card that was launched in 2010, you know. If you want to analyze this performance and uh, compare it to today's game, you know, you can actually see that the video card is still capable on some light games, you know, with some older titles like Fortnite older games you know if they keep continuing updating the game like this maybe in the future they will um, how should i say drop the directx 11 you know and the the game will not be future proof like before it was directx 10 was still available for fortnite but now it's uh, not anymore you know so uh, that's the only thing you want to consider for uh, for the future How many FPS I had? 100 beautiful FPS. Oh yeah, let's clean it. Let's clean it. <laughs> okay, let's jump into Fortnite and see how it's running this game with uh, a borderless smooth and very high frame rate. I think the game needs to run uh, better than a 560 Ti, so let's see. We got uh, only 50% load on the core. Hopefully when we reach the ground, we're gonna have decent FPS and uh, Hopefully it doesn't lag, you know. I remember uh, the previous 500 series video card and how much it had. I had to put uh, uh, lower resolution in order to get uh, some decent FPS. Disregarding that, I think we have a nice chance on actually running the game uh, perfect with this video card. I seen the FPS drop again, again. What are you doing? <laughs> Seriously? What's this? 100%. Core load. Okay, let's put it. Did the core died or something? No, they all 
Okay, so I put it on 1366. That's a laptop resolution. Yeah, 26 FPS. See, it's it's weird that he's doing this. Why? So in some cases he's running with 200 FPS. In some cases he's just draining the whole performance. Look at this. Maximum FPS. 30 FP, 30 percent load on the core. Why is it now like this? Makes no sense. I mean, 20 FPS on minimals is not okay. I think that the I think that there is something wrong in the optimization in order to use a 500 series video card. I'm very disappointed in this game, seriously. I had so, so much uh, joy with uh, this type of um, game. And uh, in some situation, it, it runs really nice, you know, with some older video cards. But I don't understand what's wrong with this uh, video card now in this situation. I mean, in some situation, it's 99% load on the core. In some situation, it's 30%. When I look at the map, when I look at something, then it's, it's yeah, it's not, not very, even optimized, you know? I got one gig of VRAM, it's actually okay. Even in the in the smoke, it's uh, dropping. I mean, this needs to be, this needs to be seen uh, on different type of video calls. It's only with 500 series, maybe 600 series, the drivers from the 600 series is doing okay and it has no problem. Maybe that's okay. Bring some 600 series low-end video cards. Let's jump into GTA 5 and see how the, the GPU is performing with this, uh, amount of memory i got 1.2 gig of vram now it's uh, not on the limit so i think the video card can do wonders normal details fxa activated and hopefully we don't have to activate this one let's see can we take it off yes there is a chance that we can play with uh, vanilla settings okay in the garage apparently i got like 70 80 fps not bad you know when i'm looking at the car usually bad before was dropping to 20 fps with older video cards but now i got 1.1 gig of vram use 98 percent cord load that's actually fantastic let's take a look on the gpu side and see how the gpu is running yeah it's running really good even on the gpu side like memory is used 95 percent holy no the blue one is here it's kind of nice to see this uh, video card running like this in gta 5 seriously i'm, I'm not joking it's it looks good it, it's it runs okay everything it's on point you know it is it feels like uh, the gtx 570 is the minimum requirements for this uh, for this game maximum load on the core maximum vram used it's like the whole thing it's uh, designed for this video card i like it though seriously i like it it, it feels like uh, it's still a decent video card. I'm 100% sure the moment the the new GTA 5 comes out and this game will going to be dead, you know. It's going to be freaking awesome. In some situation you can actually see the game running 12 FPS on minimas and 52 on 1%. Those are not really good numbers, so I think uh, adjustment needs to be made in uh, in the render scale, you know. The resolution is good, you know. The render scale needs to be adjusted maybe 2.8, you know, so you can get better uh, uh, FPS on minimals and 1%, you know. It, it's on the limit, you know, with 1 gig, 1.1 gig, in some situation it's dropping below and it's not fun when you're engaging with somebody. Let's jump into World of Tanks and see how this uh, game is performing. I'm gonna put uh, everything on medium details, full screen, V-Sync. Let's turn off V-Sync and then we're gonna see how it's running without. <laughs> the FPS is good, the, everything is good with this uh, and uh, it shows me that uh, this video card is still capable even today. I know because the 560 was a standard uh, GPU for this game back in the days and now I'm using a 570 that is a little better than uh, the 560 Ti. The performance is top notch with, uh, with this video card. I've been 80, 90 FPS, 100 FPS on average, and it's using the maximum core. One gig of VRAM, that's actually good. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's, uh, it's a very decent performance. In a situation like this, when you're playing with an older video card, you know, if you want to build a system like this, the only thing you're interested in is the average, you know, that in this situation is 94. 94 FPS for a video card from 2010, it's it's kind of good, you know? So considering the game was uh, started in 2009, at least in 2010, I think the video card is still capable because it's the same year, you know? 1.2 gig of VRAM, it's only utilizing one gig of VRAM in, in, in this uh, setup with medium details, 1080p, 
you know. It's kind of good to see this video card running like this, you know. The system itself is not very loaded, you know, so an i9 is kind of an, an exaggeration to, to, to put uh, this video card, you know. You look at this, 20% load on the i9, not worth it. An old computer will actually do just fine with this, uh, with this game. I like the game how it's performing with 500 series. That's it. That's, that's what I wanted to say. Let's try cross out and see how the game is performing with this video card. The settings 1080p, window full screen mode, 100% render scale, there is no V-Sync and I'm on low details with this 570. What the f is... <laughs> what the heck is going on? I was like, what the frack? Regardless, let's see how we are doing here in the game. Oh yeah, definitely it's, it's kicking in. 170 FPS on average. I want I want to see how the, the GPU is holding on the average. I want better minimals. I don't want any 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 surprises under 30 FPS. Well, it's doing a fantastic job, you know. It's but uh, the the GPU is overheating. It's delivering 100 FPS on average, but uh, it's not okay on the on the temperature with maximum load. I've seen how it's performing without uh, uh, without V-Sync, yes? The performance is great. It's not bad, it's, uh, it's decent, you know? I wish I had better minimals than 1%. Let me see after it. I'm actually curious if I put V-Sync on, what's going to happen? Do I get with V-Sync better performance? Yes, look at the core and the temperature. So the temperature already down the moment I activated V-Sync. So the game actually works really nice in this uh, situation. 62 degrees with 40% uh, load on the core. It's good, so 60 FPS is ideal. I mean, you don't need 60 FPS, you need exactly how much the monitor can support. 100 FPS, it's okay. But it's doing a fantastic job. 570, it's a, it's a very beefy video card. It's got a big bus weight, uh, lots of shaders, 1.2 gig of VRAM with uh, 1000 megahertz on the uh, memory clock it's it's a fantastic video card i'm in battlefield 3. let's see how we're doing i put it on uh, 1080p with low details let's see how the game is performing with this video card i'm actually surprised how it's running seriously <laughs> whoa nice performance 100 fps see the core is maxed out in this situation and i don't have any problems with this i mean this is freaking awesome i'm not gonna lie Look at this, 120 FPS on average, 31 on minimal, and 1%, it's uh, 100. This is great. This is really great for a video card like this. I mean, come on, it's Battlefield 3, and I think this this game is the one that uh, needs to be... This needs to be played with this uh, video card. Overall, the game is brilliant. Who is shooting? Whoa, your team lost. That was a short game, seriously. What the heck? I, I, I made up my mind, you know, I've seen 120 FPS in the game, so I'm 100% this video card can actually play the game. The only thing I, wa I wish I've seen is with how much uh, and how the game is performing with, uh, with V-Sync. That's it. If it's uh, doing that great with uh, we, without V-Sync, then there is room for uh, thermal improvement. Definitely we need to try uh, uh, Modern Warfare and see how the game is performing. Screen space, ambient occlusion. <laughs> Everything is on maximum. 90 FPS, 99% code load, 1.1 gig of VRAM. This is the right, this is the right game for this. Whoa. Holy that was so cool to see. Doing fantastic here with this video cards, you know, 9.8 gig on the on the system RAM, you know, it's the system is not that uh, utilized and I think uh, I need to put an older machine to see how this type of video card can run with, with the real GPUs. Well, in this situation, the only thing left here is to apply V-Sync on this and uh, hopefully it will be much cooler. No, serious. Why I like this video card? Because it's got a big radiator and it's got three fans. Having some old games for this video card would be ideal. Even older games would be even better because, uh, like I said, this is a 2010 video card. And if you match this video card with some nice old titles, it will do a fantastic job. There's a lot of entertaining can be done with this uh, video card. It's got nice ports, HDMI, 
display ports, everything for this video card, it's it's got seriously. So this point of view GTX 570, it's a fantastic video card overall. There's no question about it.